Good morning, everybody. Glad to have you join me today as we continue in the book of James, chapter 4, verse 4 today. James, chapter 4, verse 4. James writes there, You adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God? Whosoever, therefore, will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. Um, so as we look at these, uh, these verses, James again is walking down a list of what causes us to fall into temptation to begin with. He said it comes from our own lust, just simply uh, our own desires. Uh, then we fail to trust God. We then, he says in verse 3, that we don't ask God for the right things in the right ways. Uh, now in verse 4, uh, what he is saying is, uh, is what uh, the church typically calls uh, what us preachers and uh, Sunday school teachers uh, usually call worldliness. Um, that uh, word is just uh, a straight up uh, word to mean uh, desires of the world. Uh, James uses the word <clears throat> adulterers uh, and adulteresses uh, because, and what he's talking about here uh, is not the actual physical act uh, of adultery, but the spiritual idea uh, of adultery. And so he is saying those who uh, are, are more concerned, who uh, to put it in a, in a simple way, who cheat on God with the world, uh, that we put our relationship uh, with Christ on the back burner and uh, put the things of this world uh, in, the, uh, in the forefront uh, when uh, we pursue the satisfaction uh, of, our, uh, of our own desires and own wants rather than uh, than godliness, worldliness and godliness. That is the contrast uh, that uh, he um, is putting for us. Worldliness is very simply uh, a, a system led by Satan, whereas godliness is obviously uh, a godly system. Uh, and we are, a believer is a worldly person uh, when, when our decisions uh, either just compromise or completely uh, go against uh, God's law. Uh, for example, when Israel uh, started uh, to pursue uh, other gods and other idols, uh, God called, accused them of, uh, of adultery. Uh, and so um, he calls it here, uh, friendship of the world. Uh, is the phrase that uh, James uses. When we uh, are uh, living our life um, by the world standards, uh, one of the ways that that shows up, I think, a lot of times in our vocabulary uh, is you'll hear people say, well, uh, things are different now than they used to be, and uh, that's old-fashioned thinking. Uh, those are the kinds of uh, phrases typically uh, that kind of uh, should put us on alert uh, that maybe we are headed into uh, an area of worldliness. And then James finishes with a very stern warning. He says, when we are there, when that is our practice, we have become the enemy of God. That, um, I don't know about you, but that kind of um, makes me quake in my shoes just a little bit. Uh, the idea that we can put ourselves into a position where we are uh, an enemy with God. Uh, when we are in that position, then we, there's no reason for us to expect our prayers to be answered. Uh, you know, no reason for us to expect uh, the blessing of God on our life uh, when we have moved ourselves uh, into a position of worldliness where the things of this world uh, are more important to us uh, than the things of God. Real, um, real serious talk from James here uh, that uh, 
should, should cause us all to think uh, about our decisions, our choices. Uh, are we making decisions? Are we living a lifestyle that puts us in a position where we have become an enemy of God? Think about that today. Think about your decisions, the actions, uh, your choices. Uh, are they godly decisions or are they worldly decisions? Do they make you a friend of God or an enemy of God? You have a good day, and we'll see you back here tomorrow morning.